It's been a bit. Yeah, it has. Lily, Lily and Rex decided to visit my island, though, so that's great. But fortunately, they didn't find my journals. I had the foresight today to get on and hide them. Okay, good. Again, I thought of a place. <laughs> Uh, they found my island by finding my journals, apparently, so I hate yeah, my existence. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I heard, I heard that they found your original journal. <gasps> yeah, although, you know, the fact that the first one's over 50 pages now is probably gonna deter people oh from God. reading. Do we have- did these work? We have nothing in them. Yeah, Max set that all up, but we haven't done anything with it. I think our plan was at some point to actually relocate this thing again, which we were going to use that for, to carry our ship, but then we didn't. And then, you know, the war got called off. Um, we didn't really have to relocate anymore. Y'all been all over the place. Rex yeah. and Lily are kind of nice. Rex is, Rex is terrifying, but also okay to chill with. Rex it's is Rex is intimidating. Rex is something. He's confusing. <laughs> That's what he is. He's just confusing. Man, just baffles me. Sometimes yeah. he'll sometimes he'll just be really quiet, and then sometimes he'll be really loud, and it just the man has no in between. It's weird. He appeared out of nowhere in my house and started poking around, and then you know the one thing he asked was, "Hey, mind if I read this?" Which was a book that was given to me out of pity for all the books that got burned when I died in lava. Oof. And I was oh. like, yeah, sure, but that's like the one thing he asked about. Just the one thing he asked about was the was the book. Yes. Damn, bro. He doesn't know where my journals are, though, so that's cool. Anyways, sir, ZK, yeah, let's, you, let's, called, let's this, you, you all right. called us here, and I desire sleep, so let's get on. Let's all right, all right, let's get on with it. Let's take get off on with your it. clothes. <laughs> Dude, fuck it, why not? <laughs> so... <clears throat> I called this meeting to order because, well, yesterday and today, I have, me and Swan have had a few interactions with the Vanguard, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think, yes. Yeah, yesterday I went over and visited. I was feeling cute. I just went over and visited. And um, today, apparently, Rex and Lily decided to visit Swan's uh, tree. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I paid them a little visit as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Um, I know. I know, I Star. Like we'll get to that. I didn't like you, Star. Yeah. Okay, so first off, I learned well, I learned about like three things. First off, for some reason they don't think we're enemies. They have they, they're still keeping their, you know, you can hire us for our services stance. Which mm -hmm. is, you know, a relief. Because, you know, that's peace. It's a tenuous peace, but it's a peace. Mm -hmm. Um Second off, apparently, the goddess owes Rex. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because apparently, apparently, she misplaced some things that belonged to him. And oh. now she's just helping them out with stuff. I have no clue what the hell is mm. going on there. But th Lucky there's that. That's right? Absurd. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Third thing, uh, while in you know in both interactions that we had with them, they had this you know they were they they mentioned they were pretty afraid of us for a minute, because apparently, Star has been going over and threatening to burn down their freaking fortress. Wait, what? Yeah, Wait, they, what? they 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 informed Wait, me that you threatened to potentially burn down their place and then showed interest Wait, in buying Wait, the what? place. Wait, what? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. I showed Star. interest in buying a place. I didn't uh, show interest in burning a place. You, see, well, you, in, you insinuated that you might have wanted. Maybe we're gonna burn a place. Which to I didn't them, even have that, like a flint and steel on me. Man, I, had, like, I don't know. They certainly, they certainly. What the hell? Okay, they certainly think. Thing. What the hell is that? It blinks. That, that's the salamander. Uh, it, it puts out all fire around you. Oh, that's the salamander eye. Yeah, I, I was okay. literally going like, hey. This thing can put out fire. It's pretty cool. Well, apparently they took that as a threat. Because... Uh -uh. Right? <laughs> right? They literally took that as a threat to say, hey, I can burn your house down with the, with the, uh, the salamander eye. I almost said with the lemons. God damn it. Wait, with what? the lemons. <laughs> I'm gonna burn your place down with lemons. Right? So, point is, we gotta, like... 
when we're interacting with everybody around here, right? Because we got a lot of dudes on this server. And not all of them think like us. Certainly not all of them think like Star. You know? If we, we say things, and they might take it a weird way. Star's running around with this salamander eye say, saying, hey, look at this. I, it puts out fires. I'll never burn. And they might take it to mean, oh, crud, he's threatening us with burning our house down. You know, what I'm saying is we got to be freaking careful. All right? I was because... over here like, don't worry. I can put out all fires for you if you need help sort of thing. Not like, huh? Yeah, I How know. They it's take that I'm going to maybe, burn your house down? Maybe they misheard you. Maybe they misheard you. I wouldn't be surprised. See why, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, I mean, we have on our side the strongest warrior on the server. Didn't you I... pick a fight with Rex? You literally right. did. <laughs> so it's not completely, you know, out of you know, out of mind to think that hey, that might be a threat. They might, he might be going after us. You know, that might be that is completely a valid thing for them to think. The question so, is, what time? What, what time are we talking about that I've hit to fight with Rex? That there's been like five times now. Yeah, I know, that's I know. It. I'm just saying that's you have a history of being antagonistic with them. I, so, uh, so be a little bit more careful with what you say to everybody, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to be, you know, controlling or anything. Just don't, don't accidentally start fights. Think a little I really before you buy a house, though. No, I, I know, man. I know. They, they they have some nice buildings there. I just want to buy a nice house. Okay? Honestly, yeah. I, that I can't be bothered me. to make one. And so after I have done projects, my next project is to potentially build a town myself and build a more elaborate library. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. Okay. So so let's move on, though. On another topic, um, we've also been having a lot of talks with people. Um, for example, uh, uh, like a couple of days ago we had that talk with jazzy it was literally just me and swan walking over and we had a lot of talk um and it's made me realize that we don't know anybody anything about anybody on this server we're very short on intel which to be fair yeah. considering we're you know the guys who just do not fight you know on principle we're trying to be peaceful here we don't really need the intel but i we need the intel because to be completely honest, at this point, we're, you know, just coming off of a fight. I know what happened like a week or two ago, but it's not, it's still fresh in my memory, and it's probably fresh in theirs. So we're probably in a state of Cold War, right? We, yeah. And, they're, and they're, they're ramping up, you know. They're, I, I went over there, when I went over there, I saw they had the big ol' infusion altar for Thomcraft. So they're, they're deep into that stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So... We need a couple of things. First, we need to up our own ante and, like, get our own arms. Um, um, with Thomcraft, we're going to need a larger area. Yeah, no, I know. The one that's for the not infusion in a cave. Open. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, I haven't gone into infusion myself, but I know that thing's, like, a big old spot for the altar. Um, and, like, also the other mods. I am not very knowledgeable on this mod pack, so we need to, like... I'm not either. We yeah, need to cut our branches into numerous things. We need to get deep into this stuff. We need to like and... explore all the options. Oh yeah, keep... uh, I also read some of Rex's books. Of course you did. Yeah, I know. I know. You went over and freaking read their shit for some reason. How do you know that part? Uh, I was in the VC with you when you went oh, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, it was immediately but... after our talk with Jazzy. But um, do you remember anything that was in them? Okay, so things that were in them. Uh, like, one big thing is uh, Callum and Candy have apparently already fought. They have. Oh, like, beautiful. They've already interacted sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. That if From what we read, you know, it seemed that Callum and Candy had already had a history of animosity. You know, if they'd already fought, you know, that pretty much confirms it. Callum is trying to avoid Candy right now yeah no we i gathered that too them. yeah 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 uh also found like a skyrock thing and yeah, yeah I skyrock no do you do you think that's the, like the meteors that you get applied energistic stuff from 
because I know if you mine those meteors, uh, you get sky stone. It, it's yeah. like I think the Rex sky rock. It, it, apparently, it was this whole like worship thing to candy. I think I don't know. It is kind of it's, things are weird on this server, man. Like they yeah. they they worship a freaking like moderator. You know? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I know. Um, she An was admin. the first player, it seems. Mm hmm Yeah, it's big weird. So, that's another thing that we're missing out on is, like, if other if other groups have lore, we need to know that lore so that we can piece this whole thing together with Candy and Callum and stuff. We need to befriend people. Yeah, we somehow I don't think I'm things. going to do a good job of that. Like, Yeah, believe me, I know. People Mr. are straight up afraid of me. You yeah, can, you can leave that up to us more sociable folk. I hit Look, it up. I just wanted to make friends, okay? I went over there with intentions of making friends, and it, and it was took as big threat. <laughs> I, st I don't know how the hell that happened, but... Just I, I literally went over there, I was like, hey, I, I, I want to be friends and stuff, and then they're like, you're going to burn my house down. And I'm oh, like, man. what? I'll go explain to them what occurred. We'll smooth it over. It'll be fine. So, oh yeah, I also lost the uh, ability to uh, revive due to being an idiot. Wait, what? Mm, that's fair. Wait, wait, he lost I... a totem. He lost a totem of undying. Oh. Oh no! I I, I literally had like a phoenix down. Oh. What is wait. better than a totem that's... of undying? Uh, and you lost that? Wait, wait, wait. That in no, more, more. I used it by accident. Uh, uh, where did you get it? The dungeon. Oh, that's the one you guys went. Yeah, oh, you get yeah I missed out on that. Yeah, because you were yeah. Cool dungeon was... loot stuff. Tired that day. They mm -hmm. both died. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. I'd laugh it up, fuzzball. I've heard the horror stories. <laughs> The dungeon was probably geared to, to, to towards stars, stars level and not towards ours. Yeah. I had like I had sapphire and ruby just barely enchanted and like yeah. he was you know he was decked out. I was my, bare level enchanted. Maybe still next time y'all do a dungeon, probably make yourselves even with gear or try. To. Yeah, basically <laughs> we need like full enchanted diamond armor, and I'm also looking at a way to not be affected by wither. Yeah. I don't think that's, there's any, any no. way to... Wait. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, there is, actually. There's certain artifacts or reliquary, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. If it just... if it if it uh if it makes you feel any better, I got a brewing I got a brewing stand in my uh in my in the library, like in the staff area. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I can just Yeah, I got oh, one. I got one library. I ran What's into that? it today, the new one. Yeah. How'd you like it? It was pretty nice. Mm. Small, but pretty nice. Cozy. I'm, I mean, to be fair, we're we're not a the the Mythos SMP Society isn't very uh much a writing society. You know what I mean? No. Humble beginnings, humble beginnings. It's okay. I can make us a cooler one later. Maybe I'll write some some adventure logs. <laughs> Just publish them for the world to see, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna near write some war logs. Adventure log twenty. I went out with Swan and we got bees. Maybe we can oh, find I also more. Found out we, can we can find books about the world and put them in our library. Yeah, I want mm. to do that. Well, yeah. the ones that are safe for other eyes. Did you guys find anything in the dungeon about the What's world? Once this be? whole you see yeah a bit uh candy's evil. <laughs> Hmm? I died in lava with most of the books. Oh. There's a couple still in the. There's a couple. There's a couple that like survived. Mostly the ones that were on me because I didn't die in lava, yeah. or I did die in lava once. But like a couple that were on me as well. Yeah. Uh, um, the ones that did survive are in the staff area in the new library. So. I'm gonna okay. make a uh, Basically, what we gathered is uh, candy is technically evil. Uh, I don't think candy's evil. Technically. I not even yeah, you should read those books. You should read Where? those books, Marsh. Where are they? Yeah. Um, in the staff area in the uh, new library. See, There's a bunch of bookshelves. Bro, that's far. <laughs> Follow Dude, me. I can travel. take you there in nether like right. a minute. Yeah, man. Just just jump in here, yo. I literally don't know why y'all think she's evil. Yeah. Oh, do 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 you want? To... I read the books. 
Yeah, she means she. It's, it she like is she... literally the whole reason that Callum even exists. Yeah. So, like, what was that event earlier like? It was a little festival. Ah, mm. I wish I was there. What the? Oh, you uh, have a gauntlet. Okay. Yeah, I got the I got the caster's gauntlet. Welcome. All right, here's the library. Well, it's instead. a little, it's a little empty. Um. Yeah, I know, I know. There's no books, but these things could carry a lot of books. I think they're like hey, sixteen. Hey, we, we have one whole book, okay? Where is it? And I wrote it. I'm proud of that. Where, All right, where is so it? it's over here. I want to read it. Oh, it's gonna take you a minute. Oh, I'll let you. Oh I'll, no, I'll... no. Okay. <laughs> that thing, fifty page long, you know. All right, so here's the staff area. Um, so the shelves in the staff 68. area. This is from Kenny. I don't know why we found this in the dungeon, but there was a book from Candy. Uh huh. Let me see. Candy wrote a book, and it was in the dungeon for some reason. Uh huh. You go. Yeah, my work here is done. I have no reason to stay here anymore. After all, there are too many other things on the agenda. So I'm done sitting around doing nothing. I remember flying over the fairy forest and seeing a potential new place to settle in for sometime. Maybe it'd be best to set up shop across the map. If I'm destined to be hunted and even to have uh, to have to share my world with other players, I don't want to be found so eas easily. And maybe on the way there, I can check out that bottomless pit I heard Callum talk about. He seemed keen on getting me to go there. It's mo almost certainly a trap. No, but no doubt he wants to wait for me there and push me into the void. But he can't fly now, can he? Ooh. Okay. Now, re read the uh, Rips journals 3 and 4, 1 and 2, Burn and Lava. Okay. Let me clear up my inventory because I, I don't have hot spars. No. <laughs> Alright. Day 71. It's been a number of days that the goddess has been absent now. The villagers have completely returned to their normal lives. However, I recently found that even while the player was gone, the villagers have written books about her. Perhaps they have some, they have some form of all. Uh, uh, I can't read. They have some form of conscious coding after all, although not nearly as advanced as mine. They will write about how thankful they are of her, but why? She's done nothing for them but give them walls. At the end of the day, walls will will not save this world. From the, from the monsters or the realms that threaten it. There's only one thing that could save this world, and she knows it. There's only one end to this game. So why is, why is she wasting time? Day 73. As I, spe as I suspected, the walls barely hold against the zombies and skeletons. Um, useless NPCs still die, and my men still fight in Paris. She's no goddess. She hasn't changed a thing. Okay. And then day 74. Uh, Lord Calix is dead. The, 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 the hordes of creatures were too much for a civil, for the civilization. Honestly, I would have been better leaving this place and following the goddess. My men are, are, are sorrowful naturally. The Lord's death marks the fall, marks the fall of an empire, but what could we have done? They only have so much talent and I only have so much innate motivation to help those in need. I don't, don't get me wrong, I feel some genuine disappointment at such a civilization's uh, untimely demise, but such disappoint d disappointment is not <laughs> towards myself, it's towards the player. She could have stopped this, she could have easily saved our world herself with all her powers, she could have done it in a blink of an eye, but the longer she's here, the worse it becomes, and she's keen on taking her time. Day 76. We're leaving today. I'm done here. Let the civilization vanish into obscurity for all I care. It's destined to happen, It will, and it will happen. Every c civilization, and it's all the player's fault. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so apparently, uh, whoever handed the server to, to Candy uh, implemented a ton of, like, NPC... Uh, civilizations but given that candy is you know a player in creative mode she kind of just fucked around with them and eventually drove them into oblivion of some kind at yeah, least that's what it's looking like to me thing, one thing i wanted to note the book when it said there's only one end end is capitalized yeah yeah they're t talking about the end dimension now, isn't that place locked off yep 
say, right. does Callum think that... Does Callum think that what? Nothing, nothing, it's fine. Uh, no, say it aloud, man. Like, potentially the end could kill Candy? Do you think? You, the end would kill her? For some reason. Mm. Well, I don't know. Mm, mm, I mean, what's in the end, man? Um, I mean, there's a lot more than just the end dragon stuff. I mean, that's true. I, I expect the mods probably add a ton of stuff to it. We don't know. We haven't seen it. Yeah, man. I must say I have discovered one way that I could kill Candy. No way. There is a way. How? Well, uh, don't say anything, but... Uh... Technically, the portal gun could kill Candy. There was a portal gun? The portal gun mod is in this pack. Mm -hmm. Bro, I want a portal gun. How do you make Wish this? Wish I had a portal but gun. The thing, is, portal gun. the thing is with it, if I remember correctly, shoot the moon, shoot the ground, every oh, yeah. in that radius is sucked in and killed. That's killed, eh? Immediately? Well, more like. It's the equivalent of being sent into the void. Mmm, I see. And you I mean, can't get out. It's a neat Portal 2 reference, sure. Um, but how do we actually know that, you know, it'll actually suck her through and she can't just fly out of the uh, vacuum zone, as it were? Uh, from my understanding, you can't. Even if you're in creative mode? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't blame. I, I don't. Don't get me wrong, but I kind of, um, I kind of don't know if that would work. I would have to test that out, right? I don't In think. A, yeah. I just don't think killing is the right answer, because I don't think she's evil. And to, I'm I don't just think, saying. I don't think anything she's done is worth that it, punishment. I don't think so either. But if it comes to us and we need to, that might be I an option. I don't think it will. I mean, as long as Candy doesn't uh, continue trying to start wars and stuff, uh, Look, they're good. I, I've spoken to Candy, like, genuinely, like, as, like, almost friends, and she's not a bad person. Oh, you think? Yeah. She actually organized the whole festival herself, with some help hmm. from some of the NPCs, of course, but... Help from the NPCs, eh? Man, I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the whole psychoanalysis we need to, uh, re, you know, with Candy is, you know, not very this whole world just revolves around Candy and it tends to like turn bad pretty often. Hmm. It does seem like it. It does seem like it. And uh, like, honestly, how could a cat goddess be evil? Oh, we're doing uh, we're, we're we're doing that. Are we? <laughs> we're we're uh, cat gods, freaking weird. Who? Where did that even come from? Mm -hmm.